What up? This is NARPAR News, episode 12, and I'm a little backed up. I've been away. I was on vacation. So I'm going to recap all the places I played. I'm going to talk about what's coming up. And then we're going to look at the Greater Rochester Disc Golf Sanctioned Singles Block 1. And then we'll do some upcoming events. And that'll be it for today. So we'll get right into it. Over my vacation, I was away for 17 days. I played 34 rounds in 17 days. That's at least two a day. I played Central Park in Schenectady, Schenectady NY. Good course. Prospect, Prospect Park in Troy, New York, which is right across the water from Albany. That park was awesome. I then shot down to New Jersey, and I played two of these single-round shotgun starts at Doc Kramer in Manahawken, New Jersey. Uh, I did not great there. I shot 902 and 861. Not very good golf. Very wooded. Uh, it was 100 degrees that day. I played three rounds. It was uh, tough. The following day, I played here, which was at the Diskind for Dogs 9, a benefit for Canine Association. It's nice. This was in uh, West Windsor, New Jersey, at Mercer County Park. I played a bit better. Let's see. I shot 909. Right on my rating is what it is. Uh, let's see. From there, I played Wolf Hill in Oceanport, New Jersey. Joe Palalia Park in Oakhurst, New Jersey. Thompson Park in Janesburg, New Jersey. I did a random draw doubles at Rutgers Doug Douglas College Campus in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I played Oak Ridge Park in Clark, New Jersey, which is a brand new park. No tee pads yet. It's a total bomber course. It's on an old golf property. Just a lot of open rips, uh, not a lot of obstacles. Fun if you like throwing far. Um, from there, I played Field of Dreams in Hackettstown, New Jersey. The course is all right. Yetter Park in East Stroudsburg, PA. That park? Pretty decent, weirdly designed. It's like a walking park and a disc golf park, and you play down walking trails, which is kind of weird. Um, from there, I played Camp Tecumseh in Alexandria, NJ. This place was phenomenal. Everyone says Stafford Woods is the best course in New Jersey. I've actually never played it. It was on my list. I didn't get there. I have played Greystone Woods, which is supposedly like the second best course in New Jersey. This... Camp Tecumseh Park is gotta be right up there. I might go as far as say it's the best course in New Jersey. It is just south of 78 when you're coming in from Pennsylvania, so it's not too far off the beaten path. It is at a uh, Salvation Army camp. There's all kinds of stuff in there and archery and camping and all kinds of crap. And this golf course is freaking awesome. Look it up. It's got great wooded holes with creeks running through the hole, so there's water OB. The woods holes are fair. The rough isn't too punishing. Good use of elevation. Uh, then the second half of the course gets a little more wide open, that traditional park feel. Some bomber holes, great shot shaping, a lot of playing with OB roads. Just awesome. The last three holes all play kind of downhill, which is really fun. Hole 17 is this like 440 downhill. The basket is in the corner of two roads. It's sick. And then it ends on a par five. The course is just great. Highly recommended it. Uh, from there, I played Manalapin Rec Center, which is a little nine hole course in the um, town I grew up in. Then I shot back into Pennsylvania and I played. Tyler State Park, which is in Newton, PA. There are two courses on the same park. This is a really awesome park. It's just uh, west of Trenton, New Jersey, into PA. Great. Tyler East is holds 1 through 18. Tyler West is holds 19 through 36. Tyler East is freaking awesome. This park is unbelievable, guys. 
There are two tees in every hole. There are three basket positions in every hole. There are these little toggles on the holes that will uh, tell you which uh, position the baskets are in. Really awesome. I would say that is a definitely a pro level course. From there, I played a single round uh, shotgun start here at the Bria Open Triple Play. This is at uh, 7.30 in the morning. They do these really cool things. They have three tournaments in one day, 7.30, 11.30, and 3.30. Uh, in this one, I played not too bad. Played 9.17, came in second. Only three guys in the division. Came down to hole 18, and i uh, tell you what, it was, I was so happy what hole 18 was because it's like a bomber hole. It fits my game, and I had a great tee shot. Uh, I outdrove the guy that was winning. He, so then he had to throw first. He threw it long of the basket. So I was like, sick. All I got to do is park it, get up and down. 325 hyzer. And I just pulled it right into some low branches. It dropped down like 30 feet in front of me. And I'm like, oh no. Okay, so then I throw my upshot. I get to circle's edge. And now it's like, okay, I'm circle's edge. He's 60 feet out. He's probably going to miss the putt. Then I have the tester, and we could push a play off. And would you know it, this guy, this guy hits a 60-footer for the win. I'm like, damn it. Great golf. We were neck and neck for the last, like, six holes. It was awesome. Had a really good time. Shout out to Joshua Jewell for the win there. Uh, from there, I drove back to Rochester, and I played Lakeside. Lakeside life is good, I mean. So that was all right. I played okay there. Middle of the pack for me, tied for 10th place. Real fun card there in my second round. Fun card both rounds, actually. I shot 935 round one, 941 round two. Even if I'm middle of the pack, those are solid numbers for me, so I cannot complain. You always wish you could have some putts back, but that's just golf, ain't it? So that is my little recap of my vacation. A couple other things before we get into the next section. I, while I was down in Jersey and up here, took some video. I got drone footage of Wolf Hill in Oceanport, New Jersey. So that video will be out eventually. Cool, cool, fun course. I also got drone footage of both courses at Shore Winds. So that video will come out eventually. I filmed a nine-hole round with my buddy at the Manalapan Rec Center. Very short pitch and putt course. I played either a polecat or pig on each tee. So that video will be out. That'll probably be the first video that comes out. And I got drone footage of this course called Thompson Grove. Now, I didn't mention that in the list of places I played. It's not Thompson Park. There's Thompson Park. There's Thompson Grove. Different courses, town apart. Thompson Grove is a brand new course. Also in Manalapan, New Jersey, Central Jersey, it's incredibly difficult. I have a little bit of drama going on there. So I'm going to do another video specifically about this course. It is incredibly difficult. So get, get ready for that one because that's going to ruffle some feathers. It's, I've already ruffled some feathers there. I've been the, the topic of discussion in their Central Jersey Disc Golf page because I gave this course an unfavorable review. The people there don't like that, apparently. They deleted my review on Udisc. They reported it as harmful or whatever. Then they put me on blast in their Facebook group. Uh, then I reposted my review on another account, uh, which they then reported that <laughs> review. So I got the drone footage. I'm going to show the course. I'm going to show how insanely difficult it is, how insanely demanding the shots are, and, uh, I mean, you'll learn all about that in another video. So that's going to be exciting because, you know, if it's Rochester Disc Golf and you're my homies, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. If you're six hours away, I don't care if I upset some people. So I'm going to do the thing that people in disc golf hate, and I'm going to be honest about stuff because I'm not friends with anyone down there. So come and get me. Cancel me. All right. On to the next uh, little section here. 
while I was away, a lot of tournaments happened, and I'm going to do recaps on a couple of them. Uh, and this is just me saying, hey, I'm going to get to this. I'm going to do the Chili Willy weekend, Saturday at Williamson, Sunday at Chai Lai. That, those videos are going to come. I'm going to try to get a video, you know, a couple in the next two weeks done, but I'm working three jobs, and it's going to be tough. But I'm going to try. Uh, we're also going to do a full recap of Lakeside Life is Good and the Shorewind Shootout. This one was really weird because they didn't list the event until like a week and a half before it was uh, supposed to happen, so no one knew it was happening. So that was just a little interesting because I wanted to play that, but then by the time, it was like I was about to leave on my vacation. I'm like, oh, it's while I'm gone. Weird. Whatever. Anybody who's watching this video, if you played in any of those events, the two Chili Willies, the Lakeside or the Shore Winds, comment below some pertinent details so I can add them into those breakdown videos. Thank you. Now, section three or four or whatever this is. Greater Rochester Disc Golf Sanctions Singles Block 1. So we have a leaderboard here. Now, I'm not sure if the leaderboard carries over or each block is its own thing please tell me how that works i'm just going to go into the pdga results here we're going to look at that we're going to see what jumps out at us and then uh for the second block you guys can fill me in with some more info so as far as open goes we have herzog taking it down at least in block one five and we have he had five points not exactly sure how the points work i didn't look into it i could have i didn't uh we have Matt, Bobby, and Edward all had 50. Very close, very close. Matt Forsyth here. Look, he went, he went every week, didn't miss one, but still couldn't accumulate enough points. That is a bummer. Good effort. We'll look at some of the ratings. Do to do. Bobby Jones here shot 1015. Round four. That's pretty awesome. Connor McCag there. He shot 1008 in round one. That's awesome for him. Some, some highlighted scores there. And yeah, let's go down to Open Women. We got Sherry Herzog, no competition. She wins. Congratulations. Uh, in advanced, as usual, pretty big field. We have Steven Schickler, 122.5 points. S squeaks it out over Engels and Dutra here, who had 117. Looks like Sick Stick Schickler was went all six rounds he was there. So he, he put in some work to win it. Dutra did as well. Betcha Angles here, man. He missed one round. Maybe if he made it, he would have accumulated enough points to take down the win. But he did not. Any notable big rounds here? Do, 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 do. I remember seeing so. Oh, there he goes. Jake Sutherland. 10-15 rated round uh, on round four. Good for you, Jake. That's awesome. Do I see any other 990s in here or anything? We got 84. Pretty good stuff there. Advanced women, Heather Schlegel, only one. She only went to one. Good for you. Intermediate. James Squire squeaking it out over Jason Skonkley. Skon Sconley? Why did I put L in there? Sconley. Whatever. Looks like both these guys made all six rounds and uh, came down to two points. Two points. Awesome. Yeah, they both shot... They both shot 942 in round uh, five. All right, down in rec, Thomas Bunch is the points leader there, 45. Looks like he came to most rounds. Good job. And in rec women, we have Aubrey Lee Ford. She showed up for two of them and uh, wins because she was the only one there, or at least wins the points so far in this block. Again, if someone plays this and understands, and so just let comment, tell me what happens with the different blocks, uh, how they roll over and whatnot. But that's really cool. And that's my quick recap of that. And to finish out this video, we're going to talk about up and coming events. It's crazy how many events are happening in Rochester this year. It's crazy. I was gone for three weeks, missed three, missed four events in three weeks. Wild. So coming up, let's look at what's still on the schedule over the next month or so next month. We have Rock Women and Juniors. This is Saturday, June 11th, this, this weekend coming up. This is for women and juniors. So that is at 
Riverton. So if you're a woman or a junior or you know, know, know some women or juniors, tell them. Sign up for that. We then have Party at the Pines. This is at uh, Bruce Stafford's place out in Holly. This is a, uh, a flex start on Saturday and Sunday. There are Looks like there are still openings there. This is a cool little course. Uh, it's all flex start because the holes overlap each other. Unless they're doing a different layout, I'm not sure. But there are openings. Looks like there's four openings for Saturday. There's a couple openings for Sunday. So get on that if you want to do that. That's the 11th and 12th. The following weekend, we have Survived the Turnpike, which is down in, uh, where is that, in Italy, or Naples, New York, over at the Fuchs place. This is a random, they have a dro random draw doubles on Saturday, and then the tournament itself on the Sunday. This is an interesting private course, very wooded, very technical. Uh, I'm really going to try to play this one. It should be pretty cool. Uh, there are plenty of openings in this tournament. We only have 15 people signed up of the 36 positions. Look at this. Advanced is only two people in advanced. Easy win right there. 33.3% <laughs> chance of winning. Four people in open. I'm going to go and say I'm, I'm calling Matt Miller to win this one. Although Evan Cole is really good. I don't know if you've seen this course. Very wooded. Very unique. This is a touch course all day. Um, next up, we have Rock the Freedom 2. All right. So this here, last year, Rock Freedom was at Williamson. This year, it looks like it's over at Frommer's Woods. Uh, two rounds, Frommer's Woods. They're playing the RFDO loop, which is 1 through 5, A through I, 7, 8, 17, and 18. The second round will be the original 18 loop. I did see on Facebook, Brad Frommer said they are raising the tee pads to fix the issues that they had earlier in the season, which is awesome. I'm going to try to play this one for sure. Only one person registered in open, three in advanced. Sure, there's a punch in intermediate, but this one, uh, some good midsummer woods golf. Could be nice. If it's hot, you'll be in the shade. So... Sign up for that. Lastly, we have Aaron's Adventures Bring Your Own Partner, powered by Millennium Games. This is on July 2nd, the weekend of the July 4th, which I believe is Monday this year, right? Two, three, four, math. This is a Bring Your Own Doubles. This is a benefit for juvenile diabetes, which is awesome. There's a lot of CTPs here. Ben has been diligent in letting everyone know who is sponsored, what you could win. Um, you got raffles, you got glow accessories, picnic baskets, pedal tours, a, a Zuka cart. There, there is just so much stuff involved in this tournament. It is crazy. There's only 32 teams filled in at this time. I'm not signed up. I'm trying to convince my girlfriend to play with me. She's kind of on the fence about it. I might bail and then get someone else to play with me instead. I hope she doesn't listen to this and be like, what the heck, Dave? <laughs> but you know how it goes. You, believe me, you know, like your, knife, your wife never wants to play, right? But my situation is my girlfriend introduced me to disc golf, and now here I am two years later, and she's like, I don't know if I want to play. And I'm like, you showed me this. This was your thing. But, you know, I digress. Damn, this video ended up being... One, nearly 20 minutes whatever so that's it for today i'm gonna try to get this out real soon so i can start catching up on the recap videos uh it is worth noting a lot of the towns in the area are short staffed and the cost of fuel mowing is being an issue i saw it in new jersey i hear it here league is tonight but this video is not going to come out till later so probably won't, this is information won't matter but apparently uh, they're not done mowing Parma, so League has been moved to Basel tonight. So we'll see what happens later in the week. But between the mowing, uh, the shortage in staff, the fuel prices, the ash bore worms, it's an uphill battle. Here's what it is, guys. So thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Comment your thoughts below. And don't hit first available next time you're out there on the course.